Hello and welcome to Table Talkers Band of Iron. It's been a minute. Uh, when last we left the aforementioned Band of Iron, they brought back this alchemical formula to what appears to be a big scary hag house. Bashnir got injected and according to her, it, whatever, it's a, it's a house, man. Uh, he should now be stabilized, for lack of a better term. After that, they were given leftovers, and they went back to their base in Bellanue and just proceeded to share said leftovers with the larger mercenary company. Whilst this revel revelry was occurring, Tadori got a missive from Attica, or something marked with the Attican seal anyway, that informed him that his desired hell portal was completed. And we left off with Tadori going toward Vashnir whilst this party was ongoing. God knows you have forgotten if you had anything to say to each other back when we last cut off. So I'll let you guys take it from here. Fuck oh, my <laughs> I don't remember. You should still inform him anyway. I already did inform him. No. Gotta do it in character, James. Come yeah. on. Yeah. I did! No. Eric says no, so no, you didn't. That is saying no, so. My internet is kind of shit at the moment. I. So, part of the reason I pulled you over here, Vashnir, if Medina is here. I'm here. You should be. Okay. Part of the reason I pulled you over here is because I just got missive that the hell portal is done. So at any point, we can head in there. If there's nothing else we need to be doing. Because once we head in there, we're probably going to be in there for a while. We have this. Mm. <clears throat> Shake the rest off. Plank it. What's everybody having the Watch list it. to do? I don't know. That that's kind of been a y'all thing. El portal. I believe it was. Uh, another orc war band somewhere. And then uh, the other thing, I believe, still the building of relationships between other countries. Something like that. But the point is, currently, I don't know what we have on the docket. We could build a hell portal, or when it's finished, we go there, so we can amass an army. Well, the hell portal is done. Oh, yeah, that's, that's everything. Get there, get the, and uh, now we have... Go there, amass the army we need. Hopefully with that help, we can... Show that the other nations, we have an army backing us, and hopefully they can... Um, they will join our forces for the oncoming threats. Hopefully not see us. Not see us as another threat. Potentially, but I don't know how that's gonna work out. Uh, yeah. Uh, the forces coming from the portal, what happens when they perish? Do they just go back? I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna work. It's probably gonna be they just go back, but... Not entirely sure.
I say it's probably our best shots. Right currently is going there. We, if we go ahead and get the orc forces, we would be seeing a threat. That are here. And everybody else is an asshole with their own nation. Pretty much. Let's focus up and then let's focus on something that we have some like ability to manage. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, let's bring it up with the Elixir. Setting out to find the other members of what amounts to the senior council or upper council of the Band of Iron. I eat the yeah. players. <laughs> yep. Okay. You collect everybody probably somewhere in a side chamber from the main hall where there's not quite as much rabble rousing. Sit around, I guess. We have like a war table, right? Yeah, you have some tables that you can make into a war table. Remember, you guys just took this place over a little bit ago. You really haven't made it pretty yet. It's just some scraps of paper. <laughs> but uh, we're going to, I guess, gather around there. Uh, I guess for the foreseen future, we're going to... Uh, into the into the portal. Trying to gather, gather some forces there. Hopefully, show the other nations that we have an army backing us. You gathered the players, right? Yes. Yes. Doesn't that sound like an act of aggression? And you know, if you're gathering an army on someone's borders. Yeah, but it doesn't. If we, if we, we it's, we've it's, always been gathered, though. We're doing a party currently. Our party. entire, like, ninety percent of our military force is currently here. Fair enough. Pretty, pretty much us being stuck between a rock and a hard place. As soon as we starting, as soon as we start adding to our forces with any of the other nations, the other nations who aren't in our force see us as a threat. As soon as we cross over the threshold of where we can fight another nation, and now we we are always a threat. Pretty much. We're dancing on eggshells, no matter which way we. Hopefully they don't, the ones we can actually talk to, not see us as a threat, and we'll join our force. Is that a train? That's what I was thinking. Leave my trains out of this. <laughs> <laughs> because we know the elves are going to be a pain to talk to. We don't know if the other nations see us as weak because we don't have an army big enough to where they would join. Where they see if they're them aiding us will be a detrimental loss to them because we don't have the forces to keep up. But if we are on equal footing with other nations, military wise. Some may aid us. And hopefully through them aiding us we can out their their house. Hopefully we can get the word out that we're we're not building an army to take over every other nation, we're building an army to, pretty much we're we wanna get 
everybody has one big the only one that didn't pick up like half of that yeah it sounds like his trying mic's to, floor to... is a little low and oh. or high but... okay hold on is it better it, it, it it's just cutting you off a bit yeah gotcha. but pretty much building an army not being seen as a threat hopefully trying to build an army not to be seen as a threat by the other nations hopefully they will join us without us looking weak because we don't have the numbers we're doing this so we can get the numbers, but hopefully it doesn't see show us as a threat. Is you know we have a ragtag, pretty much a ragtag army, bit of a mix. Small military force. Well, we're gonna we get orcs, then we're gonna have hell portal, whatever is gonna come out of that portal. Don't discount your dwarves. We got the dwarves, wyvern riders. You know what, now that you say that, I have a question I need to ask. Yes. So we have some dwarves. Are any of them, you know, previous hosts of the parasites that we would know of? Some of the newer ones are. Cool. Hey. I thought that might be important to note for, you know, separating the normal dwarves from the parasite dwarves. If your intention is to show the other countries that other countries that we are we have a force of a similar size and thus not weak in comparison to them. I don't believe that would work at this very moment. Because we do not have a similar size force. I get that's where we're going to do the trip. Help portals and hopefully a massive force through there. Because right now, if we were to go around and try to ask for aid from the other nations, more than likely we'd be turned down because of them aiding us in any sort of way, whether it be force, uh, military-wise, monetary-wise, it would be it'd be a loss on their end. I see. That's why we're going on our trip in our favorite flying ship. Oh my god. I will smite it. I'll do it. <laughs> we have to. <laughs> yes. But is he wrong? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but if we can show that we have the number of forces to at least come uh, back, back or back it up, and then as an equal number to them, if not slightly more, if not just a slight, slight less, we won't be seen as a detriment to aid. Because we have the same amount of manpower. But that can also double edged sword. Some will see that as a threat. Us, you know, gaining this rapid army that could fight another kingdom. Uh, damn it if you do, damn it if you don't. Hopefully, you make the best relationship relations with the right people. Elves be damned. And we have a few ties to some of the leadership in. In um, Dolly Nuve. She ties, yes, um, but would they be really to help us at the moment? How everything is. Oh, Jesus. Any, yeah. any, any of support we ask from everybody right now is we'll take from their men. Maybe not help us, but might help convince them that we're not, you know, gearing up to for a war or to fight them. It's a connection that we've made, just like our connection to Attica and Diakov. And King Kingelgrad, might... just say. Mm -hmm. And Kingelgrad, just say. Oh, I'm Kingelgrad. That's the name. It's been a minute. I feel like I need to interject and be like, "There's things in other places sometimes." When I said Richland, I meant Kingelgrad. <laughs> I just forgot the name. Feel free to ask questions because it has been yeah. a minute. And Kingograd, that's for one. Those are, what, four of the six countries? I think. Yeah. 
Yeah, for the seven countries. Which is enough, potentially, to um, say that we're not actually gearing up to fight them. And they might assist us in our mission, considering we're spreading information or giving out information. Making connections. I could probably uh, talk to my father and my brothers to uh, put the matches out that we're not trying to fight other nations. I mean, the ultimate goal is to make one of you king, right? Comes down to it. So that <sighs> might not be a problem. I really king. I'd rather be a general. Do you rather be a general? I mean, I'm really big into politics. I thought we talked about this. I know, but if it comes down to it, yes. But I thought we were going to take over. Okay. I'm like a title king. No, no, I get that. That's fine. I'm just making sure of the game plan. I would like to unify everybody, yes. Have you been to every country? No. Which one have we gone to? Mm. I agree. Which one haven't you gone to? <laughs> I don't know. We're going to all of them. I'm from Salica. He's from Diakov. We went to Rektesh to go steal some orcs. The only way is the elves, which you made a connection to. And you're currently in right now. <laughs> and we're currently in right now. I'm connected to Attica as well. And we're planning on taking over King Ograd. I think it's all of them. Except for Galadrius. Which you've which also is been a little to. Island, which, but we've always it's been not a little to. island. Been to. It's not a little island. Well, we have been everywhere. Except for the areas he doesn't want us to talk about. Like hell? No. We haven't been there yet. Like it's Celestia. Free. I don't know where to go. It's not a place. It's the map. And the heavens aren't a place? Technically, no. Weird. Try to look up fucking images. Where the we should go take are? over the heavens. They're. Like intrinsically linked to the various elements which they are whatevered. What? So the elemental planes are them, effectively, or as far as the um uh, word. Not clergy, not theocracy, whatever it is. But as far as that's concerned. Oh, okay. So does that mean that each god has their own plane? Yes. And they sometimes share planes, like there's the life version of hell and fire and... No, blah, that's blah, like blah, the corrupted variation on. Mm -hmm. So like the uh, hellish life plane is very close to the heavenly-ish life plane. They're just... different. Your plane our system is weird. It is. One, two, three, four, five. Because it conforms to multiverse seven. instead of standard Beirun. How dare you? I know. Well, standard Feyrun conforms to the multiverse to a degree. It, it's it all says, very. It, the, the difference there is there are multiple material planes for the multiverse, but all the other planes are the same. Across all of them. There is no difference there. Different but configuration. Anyway, tangent. Important tangent. Not really. So how are we going to take over all the... Never mind. Those are plans for later. Are you remembering things? Because one of the things yeah. was... Okay, we're going to go bring a bunch of infernal, infernal bastards over to uh, Kingograd. And they'll have the backing of the person that you've been talking with. Which would then elevate them in power and allow them to assist you more directly is your current understanding. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we're gonna... We're getting a puppet! <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking, we have this little devil here, in Tadori. And we have hey, 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 quote, unquote, hey, hey. angel over there in Ina. So we theoretically could go to both planes, both sides of. I can go to the heavens. Race. Fuck off. I'm not evil. Oh, wait. No, I am. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it's not life from both sides. I forgot I was neutral evil. But these are excess plans that we should discuss at a later time, I guess. I really hate fucking Mythweaver's new way of running things. Yeah. It's really bad. It's less clean. Yeah. <sighs> Sheets are still the same, but getting there is different. <laughs> yeah. It'll log in every time. So Thank above you board, do you have any more discussions you want to do, or do you want to read through the docket and see where it is you're supposed to go? Well, if there are any objections to currently going to the hells directly after whatever we're doing currently, um, say so now, because I have no particular preference on doing it now or not. I believe for me, I believe that would be the move to make. So we can have the forces that are ready without having to try to negotiate with the nation. Because uh, I believe if we go and take over the do that try to negotiate when we come back negotiations fail I guess we have a fight on our hands and then we can go pick up some more war boys and negotiations will fail pretty much I mean, there isn't a time dilation between here and the hells is there not the uh, uh, I wouldn't not that you're aware of, Tadori. <laughs> Not that I'm aware of. I think it's roughly the same. I just think we know that there's that one guy going around collecting all the warpians in Rektesh. So there might not be any free people left once we get back. No, I get you, but even yeah. still, I don't think it's going to be much of a problem. Probably not. Hopefully not. There's always going to be some people that don't want to be around him. And smaller warbands are always going to exist. It's Ragtesh. And I've been here for very little amount of, for a very short amount of time, and I've realized that already. There will always be small warbands. There will always be people that aren't getting paid enough to deal with this bullshit. In that case, I have no complaints or concerns. It just suddenly yeah. become a democracy. Somebody tell me what's going on. <laughs> no, it's not a democracy. It's you know, it's still Ashnir's word. It's law. Still, the, I want to get input now. Jesus, <laughs> guys. We've been having a democracy this whole time, and now it's... No, no, no. Not really. It's, it's it's never really been a democracy. It's been we voted, we we've said our our opinions, and then you said we're gonna go do this thing. And sometimes, so, whenever you say we're gonna go do this thing, it's not what most of us want to do, or half of us want to do. We still go do it because you said you want to go do it. So we go do Correct. it. Which is not a bad thing. You are our leader, our boss. 
we do what you tell us to do. It's the whole point of this. Um, some people can have better. Which is why we're here to offer you ideas. But they're just ideas. Yep. We Ash offer ideas. Degrees. They're not always smart ideas, like what we're doing is a very smart thing with, for example, giving oh, a uh, possible biological weapon to a hag that should never have had said thing. That that a was totally that, a smart idea. Yeah, twenty twenty house. Yeah. Just because it's still fresh, Vashnu, you still feel a lot better. <laughs> Just like passively. Yeah. But we've heard we've heard the opinion of two of us. Uh, we'll go over. What you two? I believe he's Pion looking at you Una and Pia. <laughs> What's your opinion of going uh, to that house? Me. Sounds fun. Is there anything else you need to do beforehand? Like rescue your parents? I'm sure they're fine. They will do. We'll do that one. Yes. <laughs> So where do I need to go? And are we just gonna fly there, or are we gonna jump there? Portal's back at the original base, right? Negative. You wanted to expedite it, they had to find a place to build it. Where did we build it? I thought it was back in a... Uh... That information has not been disclosed. <laughs> where to go oh. stop by to go say hi before they tell us where it is. Hmm. It's been forever. I think we've been built a long time ago. It's only been a long time for us. In-game, it's been a few months, and to break the veil in a uh, consistent and not, you know, stuttering on a uh, stable way yeah. is uh, hard to do. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, where are the people we need to talk to? Uh, uh, continuing looking through the missive, uh, you do see that it essentially <clears throat> says at the bottom to contact them when you are ready to go. Me or him? Yes. Essentially, it. It Basically, gives you a return me, address. We can send it to them. Yeah, I don't know where we're going. We'll be. Look at my eye. What did you say? Never mind. Never mind. Good. I got five. What? <laughs> you got five of what? Just make sure I had potions. <laughs> Sometimes I can get things. Get a but essentially, in the documentation, it says write your current location. People will arrive. Blah, blah, blah. Where is our current location? You are in Bellanue. a jungle area in the northwestern area of Bellanue at the feet of the uh, big ass mountain thing that makes up the dwarven central kingdom area where all the nobles live. It's a big ass mountain. 
Why did we come here? Because this... From Calica, I mean. Because this is your base of operations that you cleared out? And you had people here? And you got a bunch of food from the hag house? And you were like, right. Did we come visit Artie? See how the... Yeah, did we come visit Artie? Not personally. But I can say that you did, unless you're itching for a conversation. Oh, I just wanted to collect some wyvern venom. Because yeah. he's taking care of the wyverns. You can do that. Yeah, okay. I'll say you can easily walk away with uh, three extra things. They're all ice wyvern? Yeah. That's really all you have. I didn't know we had normal wyverns mixed in. Well, whenever normal ones do get mixed in, their offspring are in invariably the ice variation on it. So the ice variation is a dominant trait. Mm hmm Got it. Thought it might be like Pokemon. Ice type plus normal type equals water type or something. That's not how that works at That's, all. <laughs> no, yeah. it's not. I could have. Somebody write when you're ready and then we'll go on to a different place and then you'll have more talking and then you'll go to hell. And then we'll see how much time we have left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. ready when y'all are. I guess we're ready. gonna be as ready as we're gonna as, as ever because nobody's really saying whether they want to or not. I'm just going over here. Okay, that's good. good. Sounds like we may send that letter. Pretty good. Pretty good on gear, food, items. I was born good. Yes. Do you have to worry about fire? He doesn't need to worry about fire. You don't need to worry about fire. Do the rest of us need to worry about fire? Why are you worried about fire? Hells. He's in the life variation. You need to worry cool. about things like disease, poison, uh, things like that. Yeah. You're going to pop a Nurgle's realm. Yeah! Yeah, the best goddamn one! Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's an appropriate reaction. <laughs> Papa Nerd is the has. best! Every time one of his great unclean ones dies, he cries! Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ! They're happy. But there's some disgusting fuckers. Those are a nightmare. Okay, then um, that still begs the same question. Are we prepared for such a thing? Just don't get bitten, scratched, licked, kissed. And are diseases covered by poison? No. No, not even close. No. Okay. Uh, we have soul gems. Do they get rid of diseases when they're activated as well? You're not aware because you haven't happened you haven't to have gotten it. sick. <laughs> uh, okay. loosest interpretation, Vashnir's thing didn't go away whenever he activated his, so... Shrugs? <laughs> but that was more of like a genetic resequencing than it was just a normal disease, so... Shrugs harder. Viruses, though. <laughs> what? That's just the definition of a virus. Eh, not... Kind of, but not. Because a virus goes in there, does things, and then it normally kills the host and has a whole bunch of it pop out from its corpse. It doesn't yeah. go into the host and then allow the host to make more new hosts. Like, it doesn't cause a cancer. It goes to the host, then changes the cells that it infects into more of itself. So it can go out and change more cells. But it doesn't change itself. from itself. It doesn't turn the affected cells into a cancer, it turns them into incubation pots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Genetics! Oh, they no longer do damage! <laughs> okay. Right, yeah. 
I don't know what he's doing. Now. They're sending the message. Now. Let's get on the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's send the message. All right. Uh, you describe the base in relative detail. And then you get back a missive that states confirmed a ship will be there within the next few hours. Understood. We'll wait here, I guess. So if you want anything to do with the band before you guys head off for God knows how long. Uh, what are we doing? What are we going to tell them? Because you know the orc boys are going to come looking for us. Remembers the orc horrifically grafted into the fucking ship. <laughs> There's work to be done here. Don't run it. Doors here. Have them. In preparation for the big. Cutting out a bunch, buddy. Lower yeah, that floor. No. Raise I the guess. damn floor. Lower it. That one. I guess we can have the dwarves and the orcs. Uh, start fixing up this base. Right, you are going to get bored, and when they get bored, they go raiding, and that may or may not reflect poorly on us, depending on where they go raiding. And I kind of don't want to take them with us to the house. As much fun as that would be, How much fun. Because they might sign a deal with someone or something, and I don't want them to do that. Let's see. Where is that one dude whose name I cannot remember? <laughs> and I cannot go look at my sheet because my computer will overheat. Supporting details. <laughs> uh, the trinket. He's back at uh, main base in a hospital. Do you think he Claire. would be technically in the church, but me to take command of the band while nope. we're gone? I didn't think so. But I also don't want to give command to just anyone random. Can't give it to Kieran because Kieran is off. Kieran's in uh time dilated area. Yeah, he is. Yeah. So we can't do that. I don't trust Jasnir that much. And everyone else here is with us and going to the hells. Besides your father and brothers and I oh, guess the king of Attica and them, but just just also, to say, there's also your um uh, like crew members. Our crew members that mostly consist of orcs and dwarves. Yeah. Could give rider you're, command. You're, I would be fine with that. Your impersonary company consists mainly of orcs and dwarves. What the fuck's that comment supposed to mean? <laughs> Give command to one of the orts, and they'll just go raiding. Give command to one of the dwarves, they'll just stay by drinking. I don't want them doing that. I know we have, you know, problems with coffers at the moment, but I don't want to come back to me poor, or them how you sold off the ship. Yeah. Why are you so hot? Huh? 
Sizzle, <laughs> sizzle. Okay. I mean, thank you, Thaddeus. I appreciate nah. it. Not that long. <laughs> It's just overwhelming. I couldn't. Not Computer sing. fan's broken, so if he just disappears. <laughs> or if he comes back and he's suddenly on a vastly different mic quality. <laughs> I'll just appear for like five minutes, then come back. Yeah, depending on the situation, that may not be a viable option. <laughs> yeah. You got your candidates for replacement ruler, I guess. Or leader. Wanna see a magic trick? My god. You can do magic no. tricks. Well, I can do magic. What? Magic tricks. I mean, no, but shut up. But you just said you could. I want to see a magic trick. No, I'm good. <laughs> Shame. What about that lawyer, dude? The, Can we give him command? The succubus that we hired for one missive? No, not that lawyer. The Lawyer that comes out of Peon's box of cards. He's an accountant, not a lawyer. Very different. different. Yes. Both of them count money. Um, I can't argue that. One does it for fun. But he seemed relatively competent, except for when someone else, you know, Mr. Panda came out. No, it's Mushroom Man. Came out to fight uh. him. Uh, how much time do we have? Do we have to take off? We're hours. told that they'd be there in a couple hours. Fuck. Social therapy hag, I guess. That sounds like a... That yeah, sounds like a cool. very bad idea. He is currently there. <laughs> yep. Join the feast. <clears throat> yes, feast. Oh, feast was all the food that we got from Alley. Is that where we got that. the food? That is where we got a lot of the food. Hmm. That's not a conflict of interest there. Sure, they Seems like something that definitely won't come back to haunt us. No, of course not. Sentient House just gave us a bunch of food. That's all. There's nothing to worry about, Claire. Cutoff time is 10 30. It is. So we're going to hell, right? going to hell, yes. but we need someone to, you know, be command of the troops while we're gone. Or you can just let them do whatever they want to do. I say we just do it as normal and just leave them to their own devices. Yeah, okay. Um, but I'm taking the key to the destroyer. That's fine. I don't know how that's going to work when they don't have keys, but sure. To the destroyer, not this ship, but the, you know, the one with rockets and all that nonsense. That's meant to be an intimidating war tool to blow up cities that we used to blow up a city at one point. I think it's at least two. Did we use it to blow Maybe two? Three. <laughs> Lots yeah. only three. Mm. I wasn't here. 
I don't think we should let them have free access to that. But we're not watching it. Or paying attention or around to stop them. Let's be honest. We wouldn't be able to stop them anyway. You're right. But the temptation would be there. Like, let's not even kid ourselves. It's it's not going to happen. Actually, there might be someone I can bring here, but I would need the hag's help. Who are we trying to bring here? And why are we trying to bring them here? And second in command while we're gone. Are they in the other base? Perhaps? My home. Doesn't that place have a teleportation circle? Does it? I don't know. God. Nightbringer oh, didn't no. have one whenever you moved in, and it hasn't been a year proper yet. Not that you had a mage that could sit there and do that anyway. Because up until this point, I haven't brought this person back up. He was the one of the people that was up there. Buddies. Bugs first attacked. It's okay, I totally have any idea what you're talking about here, Nadine. <laughs> it was like the only person to survive the attack when uh, I first fought this look thing. Okay, Everybody so one of the like initial guys from your like backstory type one deal? One of them died, yeah, one of them died during the thing and then one of them got hurt. And Heck yeah. I think he's healed up by now, I never gave him a name. Yeah, by now they'd be healed up. I don't remember. <laughs> I never gave give her give a name. No. I'm just gonna call him Cecil. <laughs> he had a name that I said fucking forever ago that was fucking a year ago. It, it's been or more. Well currently this is number sixty. Assuming we've done this once a week, which we haven't, it's been at least a year. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, I forgot your name. I gave you a new one. Your name is now Cecil. I'm about to write that down somewhere. Please do. Add it to your compendium of names. Along for a quick little whatever as to who the hell it is you're talking about. Because there's been enough random interactions that if I keep too careful track of that, I won't be able to find anything. Fair. E C I L Cecil. There you go. Okay, so do your thing, have your scene, then we got an hour and a half. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Enough time for politics. I'm going to have no idea what's waiting for politics. Enough time to get to the fucking hells and then never come back. Oh, what? I'm gonna send him a note saying I am. Hopefully, I can have his assistance for quite some time. Don't know exactly how much time. And then I'm going to talk to the therapy head. You're going to. You're, you're sending that, like, a note, right? Yes, to him. Okay, so then you're gonna get something back that says, Sure, what do you need? I'm in Rock Hollow. Need you to babysit a group of orcs. What does that mean? <laughs> Make sure they don't attack cities. Go rampaging. Oh dear. You will have my name to carry you. They should listen to you. Oh dear. Also, I have some armor you can probably wear. This shows that you are. Yeah, we're the dwarves. You can wear armor. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Where's that? It shows my mark. I've seen you wear that. Tell me win it. You're, you're just gonna get a end of the note that just says I'm in Rock Hollow. I, I guess, do whatever you're gonna do. I'm game. See you in a few minutes. Lovely. And then, assumingly, you go out and find therapy hag. She's schmoozing with a few orcs. It's exactly as horrifying as you think it is, but everybody's having fun. I would like to ask a favor of you. 
Hey, what? Hi. I what you need? need? I don't think you would like to meet orcs after the after the feast, would you? Don't think I would like to what exactly? Make sure the orcs don't go on a rampage near cities. If not, I have somebody. But he's at my home in Rock. All right. So who's this new friend of yours? Old comrade of mine, Cecil. He was there during the initial attack of the worm. Very well. If I could bring him here, I could have him as a stand-in for me. Till we get back from our uh, trip. So what you're basically asking is to make sure that this person you come and introduce to all of your orky friends doesn't, you know, get eaten by your orky friends. That, yes, that, and they will have to visit them while I am away. That'll be, depend entirely on him, I think. But, sure. <laughs> uh... I think you could bring him here? It would probably be easier. I can travel somewhere. Where am I? Uh, Rakalo. I take it that you don't want to take your ship? Uh, we were told to stay put, and we'll be told where to go in a few hours. You just don't want to spend a few hours in the uh, Sea of Stars, because it takes way too long for your form of teleportation. Yeah. Tell the truth. <laughs> that, I don't want to make sure this, is, this would be Garrett. She just nods and squints. <laughs> Alright, come here. And she like, oh. grabs your forearm. And then, <laughs> you disappear. I have to roll to see if there's a major fuck up. It's oh, the fuck. rules. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, my hand and I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> there's not a major fuck up. You appear in Rock Hollow. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> uh, what part of Rock Hollow are you at? Uh, you're probably a little bit toward like the southwestern part of it, so the docks are above you and the, everything's a little bit muggy, but... The uh, place where most of the soldier folk bed down is a little bit out of the way, but you can make it there in a few minutes. Okay. I'm writing a message. Uh, seeing where's the location is that? Yeah, you see in that area? Uh, see some... You have you your text conversation until you're able to find each other. As someone who's been there, done that, it's exactly as tedious as you know it is. <laughs> yeah. But eventually you meet up. Uh, most of the battle wounds have healed it. Looks like you probably spent a bit more time on the bed than you might like for someone that's supposed to go lead a bunch of orcs, but overall they seem fine. Physically, anyway. Good to see you again, my friend. Nice to see you as well. I've been part of the your father's guard for a while now. What's this about leading your orcs? You have some sort of like a squad thing that you're sending out, or what's, what's exactly... Yes, we're about to go take a trip to a mass. Oh, well. Uh, more troops. They need someone to stay back on the base to make sure the orcs don't get too rowdy. So are you just having me play babysitter? In a sense, but very dangerous babies. Very dangerous babies. Should I try to find very distractions for these very dangerous babies? I know that that was what was happening the last time you took a leave of absence. <sighs> But yes, I don't know how long we'll be gone, but I would like them to start prepping fortifications for the fortress that the, that we have. It is a fortress. Yeah, that that Base place fortress. over there is a fortress. <laughs> but it's in kind of wasn't it like a little bit kind of shambles. Like it, it, it's it's in there. disrepair. It's been overrun by dino ghosts for the last who knows how long. But <laughs> hopefully, with the help of you, the orcs, and the other doors we have there, we can. Get the fortifications back up. Uh, thing of note, that thing actually did have like a really impressive manufacturing area. It just hasn't really been kicked back to life yet. I don't mention that too. 
Bring that back with the doors. So it sounds like a lot of the stuff you've already started on, and you just want someone to kind of make sure it's there that has your stamp of approval, eh? Yes, if no, you you're... wear... Go on. Oh, there's an armor for you to wear. Uh, they, they will know. You're... And none of your men are going to take special umbrage with somebody from the outside coming in and taking things over, right? And you didn't have anybody there that you wanted to assign this position? The door is there, relatively new. I need to get to know them better. Yorks! Yorks. Yeah, that's kind of exactly what I'm worried about. But, sure, fine. They will listen to me, they will listen to you. Old he friends. He grimaces a bit at that. <laughs> <laughs> they will listen. Right. So I guess I'll see how that goes. Uh, is there anything you need to do before we go? I've kind of been sidelined for a bit ever since your father started retreating his forces and getting things more in the peacekeeping, like, um, not even peacekeeping, more like, uh, um, he's been withdrawing things recently, building things up again. So, as being I'm not part of the builder, it's not really much on my end. Understood. But... I feel like I'm doing the right choice. So you come with me. Alright then. Ready to go? And at that, the therapy hag will just place the hand on both of you. Made your mistake. No. Oh. And <laughs> Vashnir therapy hag and this guy, whose name is Cecil, I believe, up here. A bunch of orcs right. just kind of stop and go, whoa. <laughs> uh, as you know, or I mean, you might be aware, but we need to step away for a period of time. No mass, more forces. Until then, my friend here, old comrade divine. He was there when the worms first attacked. He's injured, now he's. That's it. Be standing in for me. Just for the sake of it. Roll a persuasion check. I normally don't do these, but this is on such I a wide scale. I, I, I'm telling him. He's I, 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 I know, it's just how well your message is getting across. Because do remember exactly where like 90% of these orcs came from. Yeah. Yeah. This is my persuasion. Okay, there's that. Again, I normally don't have those be rolled, but it's just such a wide net, such differences in opinions, you know? Alright. That is, hold on. Damn, fucking dark in here. Can't see the number. Yeah, because I'm using a fucking. How oh, dare you make him roll a dice in this dice rolling game? Had to get one, oh, fucking. Fine. How oh, that's the awful fucking audacity. Who do you fucking think you are? Alright. What the fuck? <laughs> There's a general murmur around the uh, group, but it doesn't seem hostile. Don't worry, boys. There's an armory in there we'll be fixing up. You have better weapons, armor, and gear. Next couple of raids. As soon as we get up and running, of course. So does that mean that this guy there has some raid planned? One of the, I guess, dwarves will pipe up and say. The fighting will come... Uh, we'll have some fighting to do when we get back. We'll have better forces. I believe there's another war band out there. From what I've heard. Another war band. Cecil will kinda of turn and question you on the very moment. More orcs. Alright, uh where? Where are they? 
Rectesh. And Rectesh. Rectesh. Okay. And you're saying that that's going to be your next target, yeah? Uh, maybe not directly. When we get back, hopefully we can do some relation work with the nations. If not, we would have no choice to fight them and then take over the take the force. Well, in that case, let me try to do the job that you've assigned me to do here. Let me go around your ranks, meet with the people that are leading things currently, figure out which ones are good at gathering information, send them in, and then we can start having some small provocative raids toward that faction there. So then by the time you get back, they're hopefully weakened or understood enough to where you can just smite them. And then that way, your people won't, uh, you know, eat me. Done it. Sound good? Also, take this. I'm gonna hand him over the, uh, white dragon. What is that? The old armor I had. I'm the big-ass armor set. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I might have to get this slightly resized, but I take it I'm wearing this now. If you like, yes. Well, it's better than what I'm currently wearing. He's currently just in clothes. He has, like, his weapon off to his side, but he really wasn't, like, bedecked for war. Oh, where's my, where's my pair of boots? I can't wear. That. Acquire and weapon. I'm gonna give him never send them off to do things on their own. Then I'm gonna give him my boots and move. And what's this do? <laughs> move faster? Gives you flight for a minute. Also has a hidden knife in there. That's handy. It's a poison, so don't break yourself. Ah, oh, that's <laughs> gotcha. Okay, I guess I'll go try to get myself acquainted and see exactly how much these guys want to go and fight something. Mm -hmm. Also, gonna go on my little bag of rings. A ring. What's this? I didn't think. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just the uh, sigil of our band of iron. Ah. All right. It's kind of literal. It's an iron band. <laughs> yes. All right, then I'm gonna get to work. Uh, anything I should know before I go? Like, is there a certain priority here? Uh, Don't piss off certain people. What does that mean? Certain people won't take kindly to you pissing them off. Oh, that's a lot of people. That's half the people in this fucking room. What exactly do you mean by that? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You'll figure it out when you piss them off. <laughs> guess that that's that's point. I guess that that's Remember what the warband's like for. Get... <laughs> We'd like to we get the... We off a lot of people. Pretty good at that. Most of them aren't around to be pissed off anymore. Correct. So it sounds like you've been doing it correctly. <laughs> but if possible, we can get the forge back up and running, get that. Knowing and the people it. you took from Nightbringer, they're probably hard at work at that currently. Uh, he looks around a bit. You got one sky ship here. Am I allowed to fuck with that? And if so, how do I do it? That's right, there's a fight around. Mm. Alright, no. uh, you're gonna have to introduce me to a uh, no? I will. Don't... Don't try to jump anywhere. Ever. I wasn't talking about that one, I was talking about that one. He points over at the, uh, supply ship. We have a supply ship? Yes, that's how you got the wyverns here. Oh. And a lot of your men. Cool. Um, ask Ryder how to fly it. I'm sure he knows. Alright. I'm one of the people he saw it. So... I guess introduce me, and then I'll get as many people as want to fit in there, and then we'll head more or less that direction with everybody here having the standard order of not fucking too many things up. Given most people that are here will probably fit in that battle barge of yours. It should just be the ones that are left on defense and construction that are left behind. If I'm looking at it right with my eyes that are okay at math. 
Are they though? I'm about to find out, won't we? <laughs> you got this. I believe in you. Oh, you think a plan? That's a good idea, Thaddeus. Why didn't you think of that earlier? Hold on, what do you have? Ooh. I'm curious. I'm gonna send you a message. Give me a second. Jesus. <laughs> but okay, I'm gonna go do the introductions. Say hey. Yeah, I don't want to talk right. to myself too too much. I got more talking you gotta do with over there. Yep. <laughs> Like he is standing for me at the moment, taking a command. No way. To him. Let's do this request, please. Thank you. And uh, he's about to fly. Overall, it's not like negative on this person. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's more like a yeah, sure, I trust your word, but I don't know this guy type deal. I'm gonna go give him a rundown. He's like my old friend. Thing like that. He is Chris. In a way. This is the first one that you've actually brought in for a leadership. The other ones have done things, but none of them have been like whatever. And the other did. Thaddeus, that's a question. <laughs> That is a question. Oh my god. And I want oh, no, I, I feel real like deep asked it all of a sudden. Thaddeus, that's a hell of a question. <laughs> but what's the it, answer? You for good use. It yeah, but I feel like there's more definition that's required there. You're gonna have ah. to talk with someone for that. Okay. So okay. Yeah. You're, you're gonna need to go to... Just just lay it out. You're gonna need to go to the shipyard before you get an answer for that one. Alright. We don't have that much time right now. I probably should do it now before we leave, but... We don't have much time. We have, like, eight hours, I thought. So you have a few you hours before hours. they're able to find... What you... you you're able to surmise that the reason it's going to take a few hours is they don't know where exactly that is for, like, the navigator on a ship. So they're just going to head to Bella Nui and then fly in that direction, just like you guys did to get there. That's fair. That's not going to be too long. So... Probably by the time the Vashnir is finishing introductions, you're gonna hear a hum in the sky. And... Looking up, you see a... Non-supply ship version of your little supply ship that can ha that happens to be able to hop into the Sea of Stars. As this... Big brassy ship uh, crests over the tree line. Oh. Is it similar design to Destroyer? As in, does it have ton of weapons on it? It's definitely more akin to your Destroyer, except it's new. It's new and not old and falling apart. Correct. That's a ship. That is a ship. Pretty good ship. After a bit, it starts trying to find somewhere to land and descends. Uh, you do notice that a few, and by a few I mean a fair number, of the members of the band are a bit anxious at its arrival. As it gets down lands and you can see some individuals in white and red armor begin to step off. Well, these are the important ones. At least it didn't raffle out this time. Yeah, that's that's for more of the places where they don't want to land because it's filled with goo and scary. <laughs> Ooh. 
it was quite an entrance. That's all I'm gonna say. They make an entrance no matter what. Look at that shit. It's hard not to make an entrance when you have something like that. Yeah. But they walk up and kind of like pull out a piece of paper and compare it to probably whomever is standing nearest. Which at this point in time would probably be Jodak. Yeah. And, and they the and they look down, look over, and say, "Jodak, correct?" That's me. Is the rest of the band of iron leadership ready? We have a destination that you need to teleport to. It should be around somewhere. Very well. Gather them, and then we will get you to your portal. There's someone there that wants to speak with you. Okay, I'll just go get them. I'm gonna go around and gather everyone. We'll wait. I'm right here. Cool. You're there. Not all of us were right here. No, cool. that uh, Vashnir was had wandered off. Yeah, Vashnir. Yeah, probably as you're like in the third floor area, just like showing him around, you see through the window this this shiny thing, big shiny thing land inside the walls. Hey. I'm gonna go check that out. You kind of jog down. Then once you are all assembled, is this everyone that's going on this expedition? Should be everybody. We missing anybody? One, two, three, four, five, six. Did that right, Barry? Yeah. Very well. Thumbs up. Where you are going is going to be a teleport, and you will not be allowed to leave for at least a day afterwards. Sorry, it is a necessary evil of the place of construction. Is there anywhere that you need to go before we do so, so that you are properly prepared? Because time is now of the essence, I have been told, to inform. You... Do you know where the e exit to this portal is going to pop us out at? It wasn't in one of the proper town locations, but scouts have reported seeing things to the east. Or what amounts to the east there. Within a day's travel. Assuming you are good at traversing the land. I know it fairly well. Some of it. Nowhere else you need to go. Not as far as I'm aware. That'd be good. Yep, nowhere else to go. Would we'll be able to send messages from where we are? You know where we're going? If you have the sending spell, you can, but it may fail. Pouches will not work. Pouches will not work. I'm going to write a message out real quick. Very well. Do what you need done. It. So, Eric, I'm just writing a message out to Ryder saying, giving permission to, you know, use the destroyer if he thinks. If he thinks the group is being attacked. Off in the distance, you swear you hear. <laughs> or if Cecil gives a really dumb order. I hope and he that won't. Might lead to the group being attacked. Oh, man. Don't lay the seeds for the Civil War, then I have to see how that plays out. But okay. Gotcha. As long as he does not use it on our troops, of course. In the distance, you swear you're here. Chuckling. <laughs> Very well, then, if you are ready to go now. I'll need to message, um, what's his name? Callahan. Let me know 
I'm leaving, going somewhere. Well, that one doesn't send. You gotta, like, think of that, but I'm sure you know yeah. that and do that. I was just making sure I mentioned these things before we leave. Final check. Are you all done here? I'm done. Yes. All right. We will make ourselves scarce after we get you teleported. We simply had to... Well, bring the ship here so that we could get the person that can teleport you here. That's not to intrude upon your affairs. And then they will look off to their left at... Somebody, same, like, color scheme across them, but more like wizardy style uh, armaments and armor. Gives them a nod. And they will walk over to you all and... Begins the teleporting process. Teleport three times a day. Wasn't expecting this shit for some reason, don't know why. Of course nothing bad happens, why would it? <laughs> and the next moment well first and foremost like immediately before you all open your eyes you just see a flash of red and afterward you're standing there looking around you all have like a red aura around you well this is new Yes, you should refrain from teleporting in any capacity until that goes away. So you will have to overnight here before you enter the portal. And you won't be able to leave until after a day that you've been here from the portal. Are we... Are we in one of the spires? Yes! The veil is thinner here. Okay. Um... Thank you for the warning. Yeah, needless to say, don't die either. That'd be bad. But it'd be bad anyway, so it's not really relevant. We have a basic barracks off in that direction. Uh, commissary will have food running in about a few hours, but gauging by the looks of things, you have already eaten. So tomorrow morning, you will have someone to speak with you before... You leave, and they may actually decide to do so tonight, since you're here. Now we'll go get them informed. Uh, if you would like to check out the area before I, before they find you, go ahead and do so. Again, no teleporting, or you will be erased from existence. I cannot stress this enough. Okay? Understood. Okay. Understood. And they kind of jog off to go find somebody. I didn't know you could teleport into the spires. See, I'm pretty sure you can't teleport outside the spires. The spire street teleportation weird. This is what this is some of the stuff you looked up. But if you teleport in or, in or out, it immediately goes to red, which means no more teleport. But okay. if you teleport oh. inside at all, then it goes to yellow. That was just my comment I felt the need to make. Yeah, I didn't know if that was like an in-character thing or if you just didn't remember, because I feel like I explained that. Yeah, and if I didn't, I it would have been part of the character. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't do voices. It's okay. I don't really either. But you really do. It's just enough of an inflection. It's enough that it's notable. And then you go extra with the hags. They're hags! <laughs> You're gonna have to. Now you guys just waiting around till they get back? Or... Scoping things? Well, since we're here, I feel the need to test something. <laughs> you teleport. <laughs> no... Maybe... I have the returning dagger. I don't know if that's considered teleporting or not. Probably. Or if my dagger would just disappear. 
play with it. You tell me. Yeah, it's a dagger. That I cheaply enchanted, so I'm just going to throw it and see if it. You're, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. Don't fuck with that. You're gonna die. I mean, I'm not teleporting. The dagger is. You have the transpose thing die. from the di from the uh, like diamond inscription, right? That's how it's doing it. Yeah. Okay. You toss it. It shimmers and then it comes back. It's fine. No aura around it or yep. anything. Yeah. Cool. Well, it does since you're holding it, but that's it. That's it. Okay. See, everything's fine. Uh huh. Don't let it teleport you. It can't teleport me. Uh, well, the crossbow you have can. Yeah, that's why I'm keeping that firmly in my bag, or on my back, away from my hands. I'd say uh, that's a good idea. I do not want to risk using that right now. <laughs> As you are waiting around, eventually the wizardy looking person re returns with somebody that's probably got too many medals but other than that has the same exact everything else as most of the other people here there are no standard uniform reds here there's a couple blacks and a number of whites And then they will look to you all and say, Band of Iron, correct? Yes. I was told to be expecting you. The Emperor had some things that they wished to share, so they have entrusted me with their sharing. So for the purposes of this, I am to be acting as their mouth. Is there anything that you believe you need to know before I start with mine? Assuming, of course, that the border we're going through is here. Yes, it Would is. There be a problem down the hallway of it. Let me come back. You will not be able to leave until after a day passes. But other than that, we are working on getting a circle established. Not what I had in mind when I said, "Get me a portal to hell." We needed to build faster. Well, no, I, I, I appreciate the expedited process, but it's not what I expected. Ah, oh, so this adds another safety factor should a random incursion occur. They'd be confined to the immediate area, at least for a day. Hey, whatever works. We have to worry about random adventurers, I yes. suppose, stumbling upon this area. If they find this area, they are very likely not to stay in this area. Is that a good bad thing? Because it's hostile? Because it's a, tower, uh, a spire? This is located in a hidden area of the spire itself, but it's also guarded by us. Okay. been here before, yes. It's not exactly the best place. Even when you do clear things out. You have plenty of experience with the one, I think. Don't know how all of them operate. Well, you have experience with this one, from what we've been told. This is the Life Spire, and we're going through the Life Hells. This is the Life Spire? Yes. Yeah. I thought they were overrun with... worms. A little lower. We're in the higher floors. Understood. Okay. I didn't make that connection somehow. I have no further questions. I'm not. Anyone else? Are we good? 
Very well. The Emperor's message is as such. The thing we were worried about is, is encroaching faster than I immediately thought. Your mission remains the same as you told it to us. But there is another thing. If you could... I need a pledge from each of you at this time. It is not to Attica or the Empire or anything like that. It is simply that whenever shit hits the fan, as it is about to, your loyalty is to this realm, this plane. If it is not, then it is in the Emperor's opinion that you should find your way to where your loyalty lies. My... my allegiance lies with wherever his allegiance lies. And I gesture at Vashnir. It is here. I want to protect this realm. From the forces that are coming. Except for all of you. Because if you have anything that you'd rather be at, any other place you'd rather be, now is the time. Inform us thusly. We will see what can, what can be done. You know, like, give a bit of a look toward, uh, Jodak. I was thinking about it. I don't know what their plan is. I was off for us to let you in on this. In the current plan that exists, the Emperor believes that interplanar transport will be cut off. It is, a it is a final measure, but what is coming has made itself known. You've been in the Sea of Stars recently, yes? Yes. You've seen the web that is forming. Yeah, no idea what that is. That is it. Coming here. Oh. Okay. Okay. That sounds problematic. You think? Did you hear my Do name? I need to worry about interplane travel to get to home, quote unquote? Where it currently is? Yes, you'd no longer be able to go there. I feel the need I need to inform them of such a thing. Them being? Them being Callahan. Okay, so say exactly your words in this informing them then, because I need to look at that. There may be a problem with interplanar travel in the coming days. Will this be a concern to you? You hear back, define. As in, no one will be able to teleport between planes. Or at least to our plane. I have questions, but where is this information coming from? The Emperor of Attica. I see. Due to the, you know, incursion by crystal incursion or something. The entire DC of stars are filled with crystalline lattices, like a web. You can tell from the look in your eye that you are probably contacting your others, aren't you? I am, just to be sure that they. 
you know, we'll be safe. Well, if you're contacting them, then they should know that it is unknown what effect this will have on the communication from their... squishy squid thing. The only need to inform of that, then uh, they are unaware of how this will affect communication. You hear back, I'll look into it. So whenever everything goes to hell, uh, well, you're literally going to hell, poor choice of words. <laughs> when things... Listen, when giant scary crystal things start coming out of portals in the sky, your loyalty and your will to, set, to fight is going to be for this plane. You won't want to be somewhere else, right? That's right, they are my people from my home. Listen, I owe that man like five life debts, and I don't know if you know anything about my area, but that's very important. Very well. And we're not prudent to inform you that there will be no way home. Or there could be no way home. That's fine. Does this mean definitely, or for this period in time where there's this threat? I have enough for us to share with you. Do you want exact details, or would you rather be kept in the dark? Never be kept in the dark. Always exact details. It's better to know and be able to prepare than to not know and be blindsided. At this time, that which is coming is collectively known to be the source of most magical occurrences that occur on this realm. And it itself is a hell of a thing. One of the potential ideas to save all of our collective asses involves essentially shutting this place off from any and all additional travel. So everything that that thing was granting beforehand, access to magic, access to the Sea of Stars, all these things could very well go away. Wouldn't that mean that a great number of people just lose their ability to use magic? Yes. Altogether? Yes. Mm. We've been reticent to share this information with the Hags of Salica for reasons you might understand. They might try to stop it. Yeah, I can see that. Why would you not want them to stop it if they can? They might try to stop us. Uh... The removal of magic would be our last ditch effort. To stop the crystalline plague from turning us all into a bunch of rocks. I'm just relaying this information. He's sharing it. This is the guy. <laughs> no, he's relaying, I'm relaying the information it to his okay. partner. Okay, I gotcha. So he has more stuff to go with. Nice. Simply a shame we weren't able to assist the gift properly. Now that the web has spread as far as it has, it is believed that most of them are lost. Your time is running out. At this point, we're waiting on you. Well, you have to wait a day. And then you're heading into your hells, doing whatever it is you're doing to shore up yourselves and your defenses. 
and then you're gonna get your asses back here. And hopefully be able to finish something else off before that thing breaks through. Once it does, currently, the plan is for as many things as possible to buy as much time as possible for us to be able to finish our thing that we're doing. How much time do you believe we have you know, to get back from the hills? I don't know. The dilation makes it impossible to tell. We should just get things done as fast as possible. He nods. Back. Should. That was already kind of the plan anyway. As much as I love home, I don't want to be there for too long. Is there anything else, any further elaboration, which you require? Not that I'm aware of. Bashnir? Alright. Good. For what it's worth, I hope you all survive. We're going to need oh, fine. fine people to survive to bring us out of the fallout. Hopefully, we'll make we'll make it back. I was more talking about after the crystalline attack itself. I'm assuming you're going to make it back from the hells. And they'll like, give a smirk. <laughs> I gotcha. Eh. Get there. Very well. The commissar is going to be serving soon. I'm going to. In that direction, should you need me additionally. Otherwise, the barracks are in that direction. Make yourselves comfortable. And they'll walk off. Okay. Well, this is the mm. mighty fine fucking fuckery bitch thing that we have to deal with. <laughs> Hmm. Didn't know they could do that. There's a lot of things we don't know about Attica. I just assumed they were still on the same sort of scale as, you know, the rest of the countries. Ah. But... <laughs> Above board, my dude, they were seeding their civilization in the extra planar. <laughs> Okay, that's extra planar nonsense, which people in Salica can do too. And by people in Salica, I mean the hags. That's more like specifically Fey Realm and back. I wonder if their technology would still work. No. I have to get rid of all the magic. That really sounds problematic. Oh well. Since I'm assuming that you haven't closed off your connection to the hive mind, you're just going to hear a voice back that says, Then I guess you better try to figure out something to make that thing go away that isn't their plan before that happens then, shouldn't you? Just gotta figure out how to stop it first. Or what it is to stop it. Do you think I control a crystal body? You'd have to be able to replace its brain, and it doesn't have one or is integrated into every part of it, so I doubt it. Yeah. 
to have hope. Just a little bit. God, I hope we have a plan. Can we plan anything? We can probably plan something. You're facing an unknown enemy of an unknown scale. You have a hor With You have historical abilities. accounts that you've read. But, uh, this still means they're vastly unknown. But just to like whatever for the God Wars for it, brief like overall overview here. Just because it's been so fucking long, and this is world lore at this point. There is the initial invasion of the goo thing, and then a bunch of like weird esoteric things happening with that, and the initial conflict. Then somebody brought in the crystal things because they were immune to the goo thing. And then the crystal things beat the goo thing, and then became a problem of their own. And then something happened that ended with the god things no longer being able to directly access the material plane as it currently stands. Which is why they're separated as securely as they all are at this time. But it also made the crystal thing go away. Save for some very few remnants. Just a quick history lesson. Hmm. What's the giant eyeball a god thing? Uh, that was goo. Goo thing, okay. But it is said that the goo basically ate one of the gods. But the goo things are still here. So maybe the guy that they ate is still here too? If you want to follow that train of thought? That's what I was thinking. If we can get rid of them once, we can get rid of them again. Well, that's what Attic is currently doing. <laughs> Gauging by what it said that their plan was, it's effectively to repeat the maneuver. Except this time eliminate even more of it. with negative ramifications for the world. But... Me. When have humans ever cared about the world? Currently. The very out character of them. No, it's not. They live here, too. But they could just move somewhere else. No, somewhere else is... They've already done that. <laughs> already been there, done that, tried that shit. Didn't work. Was not fun. They're thriving in other places. I think. Very still living there. It's so good to hear that they care about this plane still. If there's nothing else, I'm just gonna go lay down. Head to a bunk. Head to a bunk, lay down. Anybody else got something? I don't. Nope. No. None of them. Sleepy time then? Yeah. Alright, you rest. It's a little hard. You're glowing. <laughs> but eventually you get used to it. I had to get used to the screams in hell. I think we're good. I know, it's a joke. You... Once you all come to... and probably get yourself some breakfast... then afterwards someone will... 
go over to your table and pipe up and say, Are you all ready to go? More or less. Just giving a thumbs up. All right, uh, if you'll just follow me down the hallway, we'll get you situated. Uh, you've already been there before, but for everyone else, think of the worst swamp you've been in, <laughs> and then... Multiply it by a thousand? Well, that, but more think that the grass itself wants to literally eat you. Because it probably does. Because it actually does. Come on, leave some surprise. No. Not They'll when possible. Be fine. They're with me. Are you a ranger? No. Do you spend a lot of time out in the wilderness? Used to when I was a kid. There wasn't much else to do. Right. When you say the grass literally wants to eat us, so you like the grass has mouths and they bite? Everything or... there is alive. Yes. More alive than... More alive than here. Alive. So things have problems dying, for one. So expect regeneration across the board. Yes. Additionally, um. expect leech-type effects across the board. Oh. Poisons, viruses, diseases, all rampant. Oh my. Now, most of the more dangerous things should leave you alone once you get to the actual city proper. But you're going to have to get there first. Yep. And, uh, Tadori, we do believe that it is the same town in which your family lives in. Cool. I was wondering about that. Yeah, we had the initial scouting party go through and make sure it was possible to get there. That's how we know about the grass. <laughs> you didn't know about that before going in. Well, there's knowing and there's experiencing. Fair. <laughs> it's like, there's no way that grass can just eat you. Yeah, no, you know it can. Like thousands of tiny leeches. <laughs> yep. You know, the more you say this, the less I want to go. Oh, you'll be fine. I will say, uh, one of the reports back says that things are... People there seem excited, Tadori. Wonder why. We couldn't get the details proper, because we didn't want ourselves to be noticed. But... Something's going on. Well, we'll just have to find out what Father's up to. Personally... I swear to God, if he's replaced me, I'm gonna kill him. Uh, I'm checking and making sure I didn't get any, like, physical descriptions on things. No, I, I always leave that open. So, uh, what's your base tiefling color? I forgot. Uh, red. Okay. Uh, I, I try to stick to the standard colors. And I also just like red. We did, meant, we did see a banner with another red individual such as yourself. Except their horn configuration was much more ram-like. Uh, thinking back, that sounds like... I'm not gonna pronounce any of these right, because they're... They're easily pronounced! What do you mean?! Listen, man, some of these have apostrophes, and they need them. Some of these <laughs> don't, and they also need them. Uh, that they're immediately that reminds bad. you of Ozus, or Ozus. However, the emphasis is on that syllable. Hold on. Or whichever syllable the emphasis goes on. <laughs> Osus. <laughs> the 
you like ready to go? Don't know why Ozus is there, but we'll find out. So yeah. Okay. You make it to the end of the hallway, they lead you to a bit to a stairwell, and it opens up into a larger chamber. Think like, honestly, like the Stargate room from Stargate. <laughs> No, I didn't know it was from Stargate. There's, like, a lot of Stargates, but if I just say Stargate, you know it's SG-1. <laughs> yes! It could have been Universe, which never got to no, end, ew. and that makes me ew. sad. Ew! You or not, it should get to end. Yes, but ew! <laughs> it's just Voyager, but going the other way. <laughs> I actually kind of enjoyed Atlantis, and I don't know why. Nothing wrong with Atlantis. But it's very much like an observation area, and then lower on, this not quite oblivion gate looking thing. It's got like a pale pinkish line going, or yeah, like field in between the two pylons. Noise. Stepping forward into this room a little bit lower, the air gets muggy and just heavier. You can hear a light hum from it as the, uh, it's, what's, I, I thought there, eh, there is a name for like the exact edge of like a portal thing. It's not it's not Event Horizon, but it's similar to it. But that thing shimmers a bit as you're standing there. We ready? As I look at Bash here. Yep. Thumbs See up. You on the other, <laughs> see you on the other side. And I walk through. Let's keep the camera on this plane of reality for now. Everybody else going? Yeah, where is we going to? I'll we'll follow mm -hmm. through. Door. 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 I don't know why I said door. It's okay. a portal, not a door. <laughs> it's like a door that doesn't close. So a door when your parents are home? Ooh, that sounds so bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. yeah, it does. Yeah. Edit that out. <laughs> I can't be bothered. I know, Eric. It's not worth it, man. It's just not worth it. I can still help, though, Eric. I mean, maybe if you all would give me individual audio tracks? Yeah, sure, fine. Then I'd do some editing. But until that day, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh God, I'll do it, Eric. I'll do it. Uh, do you that? open up a recording program, and then whenever we start, we all do a sync, and then at the end of it, I get sent all of these then MP3 files that I can then sync up with the sync location and have everybody doing things. And that way, I could also raise and lower everyone's <laughs> volume as necessary. <laughs> you're uh, you're asking a lot there, bud. I can do that. That's not a whole lot. I got OBS. It's literally, just everybody oh, else going OBS. sync, sync sync and then sending me a fucking mp3 <laughs> we get the good old clap sync yeah it clap sync doesn't mean shit unless you have a visual nah <laughs> that's Wait, why it does about? that <laughs> my refusal to edit things and why <laughs> <laughs> but okay you all step through this boundary it's immediately hot not like Oh god, my flesh is searing off hot, but like... Like something's nearby doing the warm breath, huh, on you, but like everywhere. The ground itself is just a little too squishy. And <laughs> as you look up and take in your surroundings, you see that it is in fact a swamp, except it's just a little too much. Like it's le it's like somebody put all the fertilizer here. Smells like it too.
Didn't we have something to protect us from the heat? Yeah, something to protect you from the cold. Yeah, nothing to from the heat. Oh, no. It's not like we were in the desert. We were in the desert, and we got something to protect. Yeah, us you from have the heat. something yeah, to stop ambulance. you from taking. He God, I'm dying. Damage. But that's not here. Here is just. <sighs> yeah, this is just. It's Florida. <laughs> oh, he's not approaching that. Area. He's describing Florida. Cool. Florida, <laughs> except you're also at a con. Yeah, yeah. So there's just like a lot of people. He's got that stank to it. I almost like you're describing, I don't know, Australia. Does Australia no, have desert. that stank to it? The Australia's desert with a bunch of nasty creatures that where everything wants to kill you. And the spiders own the houses, I know. People live there sometimes. I mean, apparently, huntsmen's aren't that mean. So says an Australian. But, uh, I don't believe that. Welcome to hell. I don't either. Welcome to hell. Welcome to Denny's. Welcome to my home. Well, your home is eastward. This is like a few miles out in the Helix land. Hey, everything that land that my eyes see is home. What do you mean? Okay, Mufasa. <laughs> everything the light. What about that stuff example? over there? No, not that. No, I'm the one saying it. But you don't have a son to say it to. How do you know? Do you have a son to say it to? <laughs> Wouldn't you, you like know? to know, Thaddeus? I... Wouldn't you like to know? I have this random encounter die. Do it. Somebody has to say that they're leading the group. So. I lead the group. Make Everyone follow check. me. Make a survival <laughs> check. Because I am the natural person to lead the way. Honestly, Caleb, we would have another encounter, but you need to go at 1030 and I feel like it might be long. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Yeah, they encountered and, you know... We can we can just start next session with initiative. Well, maybe, but we just gotta show it first. Uh, if the dice are kind, but the chances are high. I believe it's in high for encounter or high for... High for encounter. So yeah, by the next time we play things, look over your stuff, and also let's try not to have it be as long as it has been. <laughs> So we learn everything. No There's promises. a lot of math involved because you guys have a lot of additives. But yeah. yeah, you're going. Survival check. What'd you get? Oh shit. Dice. <laughs> rolling dice and a dice rolling game. I just need one Holy roll. Shit. I just need one d20. I'm trying to. It, 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 there'd be more. I promise. But the we're at half rolling. an hour. <laughs> Ten total. On a druid? Yep, I rolled a two. My god. Right, well, that makes it. It's the one I wanted. <laughs> it's the stupid is that, is one. That good? Is that good for us or bad for it's us? It's the stupid one. <laughs> Hell yeah! Are you still okay. Are you still wrong to me? Okay. Or... No, 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 no. You're going along. And. As you're doing so, this is the wrong music for this. As you're doing so, from one of the bushes, this little, like, chinchilla looking thing just kind of scurries Fuck out this. and looks at you. And as you're doing so, you notice at, at your peripheral another one just up here. Another. Another and another and another. Some of which have little sticks. Like that ninja <gasps> chinchilla you see in the gif. <gasps> Joy. The problem is, as you continue looking around, there's a lot. And as you're taking that in, from from a nearby like pool of murky water 
something kind of starts to reeve and rise, and you see that it seems to be just a lot of these chinchilla things that have thinged themselves together into a horrific monstrosity. And then, chinchilla mech. Yeah, it's kind of ball shaped, but it has like appendages, like uneven, like G G virus from uh, Resident Evil looking, just spiky things with eyeballs and orifices is where they shouldn't be. And as it crawls out, just everything in the area proceeds to give a low, like, thumbing growl. And I'm afraid that's where we have to end for today. <laughs> Bless you. Bless that person. Chinchillas. Oh, we'll like critters. We'll start a little bit. We'll start next time dealing with this idiocy. Chinchillas. Chinchillas. Uh, anything before I stop the recording? Chinchillas. Nope. Let's get out of here. <laughs>